welcome to lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Labrador Retriever on the Rainbow Loom. I made a black lab and a chocolate lab, and they have brown eyes, the majority of them. So I used beads, and I used a magic marker and colored a pupil in, and I did the same for this one with the brown beads. And I think they came out really cute. In this tutorial, I'm going to make a yellow lab with the light tan color in the camo pack and you can also use the um, second to lightest co darkest color in the skin tone pack too or whatever color you want but they all have the same banding just different colors so if you want to make black eyes for this one with rubber bands it's going to mesh a little bit because it's a black um, skin with black eyes so i would use like if you're using rubber bands brown eyes or any kind of a color you'd like and the same with this one. If you're using bands, I would use black just to distinguish it a little bit better. So we can get started. And it's a single loom in a staggered position, arrow facing down. And um, also, I'm going to just do the camo pack and the tan that's in that color pack. So double bands start from the top, from this pin to this pin. Then another double from this pin to this pin. Then another double from the middle down. And we're going to do three stitches in the middle. Okay, and then you need another double on the side of the head. Another on this side. And I also used all blue for the background so you can see um, that the band's a lot better so it doesn't mesh too much with the white background. So I put all blue on the back of the loom. So now we're going to work on the middle of the head, the forehead, which I made a little bit wider. So you're going to need a double band and we're going to do a big stretch from this pin all the way down. That's a double. Then you can do another double, big stretch on the other side. Okay, so now I'm changing it up a little bit more and I'm using a triple band. This is for the bottom jaw and it makes it more pronounced. So three bands for this one and we're going to flip from this pin to this big pin, another stretch. Remember, that's a triple, and we're going to do another triple. On this side. So everything's double except triple, triple. Now we're going to go into another triple for the neck area. Don't mind the noises in the background. That's lovely, the lovebird. So we're going to do the neck area triple. So triple, triple, triple. Now we're going to make five stitches for the length of the body and we're going back into double bands. If I'm going too fast, um, you can always slow down or pause it. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now we're working on the side of the body and doubles again. We're starting on this pin. Here's that triple. Now we're starting over here with a double and we're going to work our way around. Going around. And then we're connecting it from this pin to this pin. So we're going to do it again on the left side. Make that straight. And working our way down. Okay. 
and then connecting at the bottom. Perfect. So now I'm going to make the tail, and tail is going to be basically one, two, three, four, five stitches long. So you're going to need a single, put it on the hook, wrap it three times. So one, two, three. Then you're going to take a double, place it on the hook, slide it in the middle, place it back on the hook. That's one stitch. And we need four more. So here's number two. Three. four, and five. Okay, so let's count. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to place it on the pin right here. Okay, so now I'm going to make the legs. And you need a black band and I'm making the claws right now so it's a black band one two three four times around the hook then we're going to doubles and we're going to slide it on there so it's in the middle just like that and you need five stitches for this one too so we have number one Number two, number three, four, and five. And we're going to place it on this pin right here. Okay, and then we're going to place another one over here, another leg. So one, two, three, four, just like that. Then five stitches. So one, two, Three, four, and five. And I'm going to place it right here. Now we're going to make the legs. You need another black band on the hook. One, two, three and four. Then you take a double band and we need four stitches of this one. So here's one. Two. Three. Now I'm going to make the thigh area. We're going to place a double band on the loom from here to here. Then we're going to place another double band from there to there. And now we're going to place this leg right here. Okay, I'm going to loom. I'm going to pull this back. I'm grabbing this band first. And now this band. Take it off the loom and place it right here and right here. So one on this side, on this pen. Switch it. And 
and the other on this pin. Okay, just like that. So now we'll make another leg. Black band. One, two, three, four, and four stitches of double. One, two, three, and four. Okay, now we're going to do a double band and place it on the loom from here to here. Another double um, from here to here. And then place this on the pin. Pull the leg back and we're grabbing this band first. Okay, then this one. Take it off the loom and placing it here and here. Okay, now we can put structural bands for the body. I'm going to a single band and triangle. So I'm sorry about the bird again. Single band, triangle. Single and single. So four singles right here. Now we can work on the snout area. I'm going to use a, a black nose. Place on the hook one, two, three, and four. Then I'm going to take a triple band. So three of the fur color. I'm going to dangle them so that they're all the same length. And the reason why is some of the bands are oblong, and I don't want some of them are facing that way, some that way. I want them all the same length. So I dangle them, make sure they're all the same. This is a triple band. Bring that snout on there. Back on the hook. Make sure it's in the middle. Take another tan band, single bring it on there. I'm going to place it from the, on this pin and this pin. Bring it down. So you have this, it's on the end of this one and this one and I just brought it down to lay on the bottom of this one. So now I'm going to make the eyes. If you're using beads, that's awesome. I'm going to use um, black bands for this one. So I need a single black and you can either wrap it around four times or you can make a figure eight then grab this and wrap it around again. So I'm going to do the figure eight for this one. Figure eight. Wrap it around or just wrap it around four times. So take another fur color Bring the eyes on the fur color, on the single band. And we're placing it on this pin and this pin. Okay, separate the bands. Just like that. So now we're going to make the ears. Single band, three times around. One, two, three. Then take a triple band, triple bands, dangle them, bring that single in the middle, bring it back on the hook, then you take a single, twist it upon itself, place it on the hook, and you got one ear, and that's going to go right here.
and we're going to bring that up. I'm going to make another ear. Single, one, two, three. Then take a triple. Dangle it. Bring it back on. Make sure it's in the middle. Then take another single, twist it upon itself. Place the ear on that, the single twist. And then place it right here. Okay, so this is your layout. Make sure your dog looks like this, and now we're going to start looming. So I'm going to pull the tail back. I'm going to grab this one first. It's my uppermost band. Bring it to this pin. Then I'm going to grab this one on the right. Bring it to the right. Now I'm going to grab the middle and go all the way up. Just looming up until the neck area. And we are stopping. Stop there. Now, I just want to grab the bottom bands. So I'm going to go all the way at the bottom. Grab that double band at the bottom. Loom forward. So loom forward. I want to grab this shoulder band. Bring it to the neck, stop there. Same over here, just the bottom band, all the way at the bottom. And looming forward. Stopping there. Now, this is triple band. We're going to go find that triple band. It's on the way bottom. Bring it up. Put it on this pin. Now, these are also triple bands. Pay close attention to how I loom the face because I'm looming it a little bit differently. And the organization of the bands in which I'm looming makes the shape of the dog um, better. So I'm going to grab these side triple band first. So it's going to be the top three bands. Bring it to that pin. Got it. Now we go on this one. Triple band, next three bands. Right there. Here is my snout. It's coming out. We're going to grab this middle, bring it over the snout. So you want the snout through it, and then we're going to bring it on this pin. Now I'm going to grab this one right here. I'm going to go underneath. It's the only double band there. And we're going to stop right there. There's another band here, but I want to do that last because it makes the shape of the head a lot better. So now we're going to do this diagonal band. And that's a stretchy band. Right there in the middle. We're going to grab this diagonal band. Okay, and now we're going to loom on the rest of the head. I'm going to grab this one. Pull it up. Now we're grabbing this one on the top. Okay, pull that ear out. And the same over here. Go on the side of the head.
and now the top part. And now we have one last band. Can't forget about this band right here. Don't forget about that one or else your dog will fall apart. So we're going to go underneath and that's your forehead band. And we're going to place it right there. Okay, so this is your layout. Make sure everything's connected and you need a double band for the slip knot. Place your hook through. Place it in the middle. And I like to make sure it's not like um, knotted up and twisted. Place a slip knot. Pull. And take it off the loom slowly. Start at the bottom. Okay, neck area is thick. Now my nose, I want to keep it in the front. This is thick right here, and just keep it in the front. I'm going to go to the side of the head. Ears, and there's thick bands here. My head, don't need the loom anymore. I'm going to take this out. Now, the back of the head. My eyes are coming out the back of the head. We want to push, use your finger, push the head forward. So the eyes come out. So I just, this is the back of the head. I just pushed everything forward. Okay, my eyes look awesome. My snout I'm going to bring out. Pull the ears up. It moves the bands too. Pull it up. I'm going to bring this eye out a little bit more. And if you use if you use beads, you can pull them out too. It looks beautiful. Pull the arms. Leg, um, well, legs. <laughs> okay, we're going to work on how to make this into this on the last step. Okay, right now I'm going to work on the neck to bring the neck up and sew the body shut to make them 3D. So triple band is right here in the neck area. I'm gonna place our hook right through. Tug it, and it's gonna bring the neck up. Okay, and now I'm going to, instead of being flat, it's up. I'm gonna fold it and we're gonna sew the body shut. I need a single band. And I'm going to place my hook. This is the typical sewing of the body shut that I have from my other dogs, too. There's this shoulder band right here. I'm going to place my hook right through it. So make sure yours looks like this. Then I'm going to take a single band, place it on the hook, pull it through, place it back on the hook like this. I'm going to make a slip knot. Make sure the knot is a little bit lower and not like up here, a little bit lower. Fold the excess and then we'll go to the next stitch. I'm going to go right through to the next stitch. Then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull it through. Hold it. We're just sewing the body. Now we're going to go to the next stitch the third. So it looks like that. Sew it through. We'll pull it and then we'll go to the next. It's just the next one down. Pull it through. And then I'm going to, you can 
can stop there, you can go to the next stitch also, but I, leave, I go all the way to the end of the tail. Okay, now I'm holding this. I'm going to take my trusty scissors, make sure you don't cut yourself. Snip the ends. Take one end, and then I'm going to anchor the other end within and tie it. So I'm going to take any bands, bring that through underneath it. So I anchored it, and now I'm just going to do a triple knot. Two and three. Okay, now you can hide the excess bands within the dog or you can just snip it. Please be careful not to snip yourself or the dog because then everything will fall apart. Okay, so now I want the tail up. I don't want it straight. So I'm going to pull it up and there's this band on the anchor, the bottom band of the tail, and we're just going to pull it, the tail forward, and we smooth it, and I got my beautiful tail. Now the claws, everybody who ever made my other dogs know what's the next step. We're going to go to the claws and separate them, just like that, and then here's the dog with its straight band. The bottom of it, we're going to tug slightly and it's going to make a little paw. So we just made it bent and we made a little paw right there. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. Separate our little claws. Then on the bottom, just a little slight tug. And it makes a little paw. We'll do the same with the back. With my claws. And tuck. It's flat. Same here. And tug at the bottom. fix the claws up. So all the paws are nice and flat. Okay, so now I want to hide this in the back of the head and I'm just going to basically sew it in the back. And you can do any which way, just hide it in the back. I like to sew the back of the head a little bit so it's more um, 3D. Pull it taut. Okay, so it's more rounded. And the ears. I don't want my ears sticking up like this. And I also pulled it before so that this band is a little bit more closer on the top. What I want to do is there's a single twist right here. I'm going to hold the band. Now this is a triple right here. And I'm just going to slightly tug just like the paws down. And the ears are going to be laying to the side. Same here. Here's my single. Hold it. I'm just going to tug up. Bring that down. And you know, look at the big difference that this makes just by moving those bands around. And you can bring your nose out. If you want, you have a triple band right here too. If you think it's too skinny here, you can place your hook and just tug a little bit and it'll come out a little bit more. And same on the side. But if you like how your, band, your dog looks like now, you can just, you know, play with the bands. And that is your yellow lab. I think she came out beautiful. Really super cute. And we got the black lab. 
same banding, and the chocolate lab. So I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe to Lovely Lovebird Designs. See you soon. Bye. A little bit wider. So you're going to need a double band, and we're going to do a big stretch from this pin all the way down. That's a double. Then you can do another double, big stretch on the other side. Okay, so now I'm changing it up a little bit more and I'm using a triple band. This is for the bottom jaw and it makes it more pronounced. So three bands for this one. And we're gonna flip from this pin to this big pin, another stretch. Remember, that's a triple. And we're going to do another triple. On this side. So everything's double except triple, triple. Now we're going to go into another triple for the neck area. Don't mind the noises in the background. That's lovely, the love bird. So we're going to do the neck area triple. So triple, triple, triple. Now we're going to make five stitches for the length of the body and we're going back into double bands. If I'm going too fast, um, you can always slow down or pause it. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now we're working on the side of the body and doubles again. We're starting on this pin. Here's that triple. Now we're starting over here with a double and we're going to work our way around. Just going around. And then we're connecting it from this pin to this pair. And now we're going to place this leg right here. Okay, I'm going to loom. I'm going to pull this back. I'm grabbing this band first. And now this band. Off the loom and place it right here and right here. So one on this side, on this pin. Switch it. And the other on this pin. Okay, just like that. So now we'll make another leg. Black band, one, two, three, four, and four stitches of double. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, now we're going to do a double band and place it on the loom from here to here. Another double um, from here to here. And then place this on the pin. Pull the leg back and we're grabbing this band first. Okay, then this one. Take it off the loom and placing it here and here. Pin. 
So we're we'll do it again on the left side. Make that straight. And working our way down. And then connecting at the bottom. Perfect. So now I'm going to make the tail. And the tail is going to be basically one, two, three, four, five five stitches long. So you're going to need a single, put it on the hook, wrap it three times. So one, two, three. Then you're going to take a double, place it on the hook, slide it in the middle, place it back on the hook. That's one stitch. And we need four more. So here's number two. Three. four, and five. Okay, so let's count. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to place it on the pin right here. Okay, so now I'm going to make the legs. And you need a black band and I'm making the claws right now so it's a black band one two three four times around the hook then we're going to doubles and we're going to slide it on there so it's in the middle just like that and you need five stitches for this one too so we have number one Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Labrador Retriever on the Rainbow Loom. I made a black lab and a chocolate lab, and they have brown eyes, the majority of them. So I used beads, and I used a magic marker and colored a pupil in, and I did the same for this one with the brown beads, and I think they came out really cute. In this tutorial, I'm going to make a yellow lab with the light tan color in the camo pack and you can also use the um, second to lightest co darkest color in the skin tone pack too or whatever color you want but they all have the same banding just different colors so if you want to make black eyes for this one with rubber bands it's going to mesh a little bit because it's a black um, skin with black eyes so i would use like if you're using rubber bands brown eyes or any kind of a color you'd like and the same with this one. If you're using bands, I would use black just to distinguish it a little bit better. So we can get started. And it's a single loom in a staggered position, arrow facing down. And um, also, I'm going to just do the camel pack and the tan that's in that color pack. So double bands start from the top, from this pin to this pin. Then another double from this pin to this pin. Then another double from the middle down. And we're going to do three stitches in the middle. Okay, and then you need another double on the side of the head. Another on this side. And I also used all blue for the background so you can see um, that the band's a lot better so it doesn't mesh too much with the white background. So I put all blue on the back of the loom. So now we're going to work on the middle of the head, the forehead, which I made number two, number three. Four and five. And we're going to 
going to place it on this pin right here. Okay, and then we're going to place another one over here, another leg. So one, two, three, four, just like that. Then five stitches. So one. Two, three, four, and five. And I'm going to place it right here. Now we're going to make the legs. You know that black band on the hook. One, two, three, and four. Then you take a double band. And we need four stitches of this one. So here's one. Two. three, and number four. Now I'm going to get the thigh area. We're going to place a double band on the loom from here to here. Then we're going to place another double band from there to there.